So I was, as always, uh, I was saying, uh, it's a great day to take a look at uh, what we've done and update the video. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, about three weeks, since uh, I touched this. Uh, we got this done the last uh, weekend that uh, I posted the videos. And as you can see, there are seven panels, or seven solar panels per... Uh, Per group, I have one, uh, two sets of eight by four uh, groups in there, uh, or frames, and uh, they're tied in series, uh, two panels per. So these two panels, and then the other two panels are in series, and then the other two panels are in series. So, in series. so this set gives me 24 volts, another 24 volts, another 24 volts, and then the last two. Uh, of each panel, or uh, yeah, the last two of each uh, are tied in series, giving 24. And then there's 24 more, 24 more, and 24 more. All of those are going parallel to the combiner boxes that I kind of just homemade here, and uh, they're working out pretty good. Uh, they're all tied into this and going out through PVC pipe that I had. I had. I don't know, about a hundred feet of that stuff laying around three quarter range, so might as well use it, right? <clears throat> and that's what I used uh, to go into the shed. So now I have this solar here. I have the solar over there that's uh, 1.6 kilowatts. Uh, this is about 210 watts. I got another uh, set uh, of 14 to go over here, so that's going to be another 420 watts, a total of two kilowatts of solar. It was 2 kilowatts of wind, that's 4 kilowatts. And uh, I'm in the process of getting somebody to give me a, an estimate on raising that tower up 100 feet. So uh, it, it's definitely worth it. I, th I don't think I need to buy any more panels or wind generators if I just take the tower up and make it 100 to 150 feet. I think there's going to be plenty of wind up there uh, to do what I need to. So uh, I'll go downstairs. And I'll show you how it's all working. We don't have a whole lot of sun today. As you can see, there's not much uh, shadow. Uh, it is overcast, as you can see. And that's kind of uh, diluting the uh, output of the solar panel. So. Uh, so things are working out good so far. Enjoying spring here in Texas. Talk to you in just a second. I forgot to show you how... Uh, the frames were actually held down. As you can see, we cut uh, small pieces of 2x4 to go between the ridges to give it support in the middle so they won't sag. Uh, you can see from here the uh, heads of the bolts. Uh, there's three on each one of those uh, vertical uh, beams there for this uh, frame. So there's three here, three on the other side, and then the frame on top, another three, another three. Those are using anchors to go through the roof. Uh, that's essentially how it's set up. Uh, this roof is a t uh, is a 20 degree pitch, ideally here in Texas uh, where I am. I'm at a 28 degree latitude, so the perfect pitch for these panels would be 43 degrees. So how I'm going to do that, which I should have thought about it earlier, uh, it's actually put another two by four on the top of each one. So the top of this frame will have another two by four. Top of the other frame another two by four. That'll raise it up to the correct position and uh, that's how we're gonna get around it um, we may use the frames that came with the, uh, with the panels from Harbor Freight which are set at 37 degrees and just mount them here that will give me uh, 37 degrees plus 20 it would be 53 degrees so uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, 47 degrees. So that's about 15 degrees more than I need. This is uh, 23 degrees less than what I need. So I could accommodate uh, the panels by simply putting a 2x4 uh, on the bottom of the frames that came from Harbor Freight and just utilizing those, which would be a fairly easy thing to do. So anyways, that's uh, where we are right now. we got to snake some more wire for the next set. 
which I forgot to do the first time, but it's fairly easy to do with this conduit because we didn't uh, glue it together, just in a couple sections here on top. Talk to you in just another second. So here's the other side of where the wires are going through. I'm using two 10 gauge wires. There's uh, 43 feet running from the top through that uh, channel that we and then it goes up through that conduit and then goes through the inside and uh, right now well when there is sunlight right now but when there is sunlight I'm getting about eight to eight and a half amps at 24 volts from those and I uh, might rewire that to 12 because I found a really good deal on a trip light APS uh, 2012 inverter that has a built-in 100 amp battery charger and an automatic uh, 30 amp transfer switch but it's 12 volts so because that guy is 12 volts and the other inverter over there is 12 volts as well uh, that guy right there then uh, when I make the battery bank obviously I need half the batteries if I go 12 volts when I do 24 so I'm gonna I go with a set of interstate deep cycle marine batteries that are going to go in here. It's going to be 20 of those. That's going to give me a little bit over 5,000 reserve capacity, 5,000 minutes at uh, 25 amps reserve capacity. And uh, I'm going to then obviously just use the bridge rectifiers and not uh, these chargers or these charge controllers. But the rest of it will stay. It will just be. Uh, rectifiers in place here and then the wires going down for the batteries as far as the turbines go and then obviously I'll have to upgrade the, uh, the breakers but that's, a, that's essentially it uh, just a matter of economy and a matter of uh, you know getting the right deal that inverter was uh, the triplet was it's nine hundred dollars retail and I got it for three hundred dollars and then I had a I have a transformer a T240 transformer that hooks up to it that converts the voltage to 240 volts, two phase, right? So 120 on each side. And that's going to power my well pump all the time, uh, which goes through the relay box. And then that well pump pumps water into, into this 300 gallon tank here that you see. And then that uh, pump uh, pressurizes the water, takes it into the house. So this whole thing is going to run purely of solar and wind, the entire shed. And I'm just going to eventually continue adding circuits as I add the battery banks and I add capacity and this tower goes up. When this tower goes up, I expect to have a full kilowatt at least uh, all the time. So that's going to be great. Uh, it's windy up there. I'm just not high enough. And I figure if I'm going to spend the money, let's spend the money doing it right, getting that tower up and uh, getting the right height so I can get the performance that I need. So right now it's looking messy. It's going to get a lot better next uh, probably three weeks or so. I'm going to take a week's vacation, or not a week's vacation, but the next few days on this weekend to kind of uh, unwind from uh, the funeral and so on and just take a little time uh, and uh, enjoy and thank the Lord Jesus Christ for all his blessings and everything he's done for me. And continue to do for my family even though I don't deserve it and we don't deserve it and uh, hopefully I'll have the time to enjoy his glory continue to enjoy it on a beach somewhere and uh, just have a good time and come back and press on and hopefully continue doing things in his glory take care